Y'all ready? Look at the camera. Ready? Yeah, you gotta look at the camera. Go. Hello, Hello. Mr. Ed here. here. We're, We're the, the Burdens from, from Louisville, Louisville Kentucky. Kentucky. I'm Finn. I'm Colette. And I'm Carissa. Andrew. And Natalie. And we're here visiting Mr. Ed at the Abbey. Woo, that's perfect. <laughs> Come see this. Now, this is a special, this is a special bee box. So, so when, when it's, what's really nice about this, what's really nice about this, when you open it up, check this out, Finn. When you open up this bee box. <laughs> It's the Hello, <laughs> Mr. Ed here on a really overcast, nasty looking Tuesday morning here at the Abbey. Today is what, March 28th, I think. Yeah, March 28th. And walking through the field right here where the Martins are. And look at that, we got a bunch of them. But they're. they're Let's see, can you see any up in the air up there? They're flying around right now. Man, we, we probably have about, oh, at least 30 of them here already. And they're taking over all the gourds over here. But, so that's just one of the perks of being able to come up here at the Abbey and enjoy what they have up here. But today, uh, man, I've already started my work. And, and it was raining just 15 minutes ago. It was raining pretty good. So I didn't even think I was gonna shoot a video, but <laughs> I changed my mind and I said, well, let me show you what I'm doing because it, this, is, this is the next step um, for getting ready to do our honey harvest. Our first step, of course, was doing our splits. And I'm probably about 90% finished the splits. Uh, I've still got some that I've gotta go back and, and recheck. Um, some of them I won't even be splitting, but I know I've got the screen boards in at least eight or nine of them right now. So I think we'll wind up with doing probably about somewhere between 70 and 80 splits. And then <laughs> it'll be bringing a number of highs close to that 200 mark. I think, I think we'll probably have somewhere between 170 and 180, 85 highs, something like that. I don't know. It's too much for me. And Charlie don't like that, and neither do I, but we'll get it back to what we want to do. But today, like I said, the second, the next thing we're doing is preparing for our honey is we're, we're rendering all of our cappings. Now, the cappings, those are, those are what we took off of our, our honey supers back in July, and they've been sitting in the honey house for since then in, in two garbage cans. Now, it was raining before, so I couldn't show you, you know, the, the garbage cans full of them. But let me take you inside of the building right there that I am rendering that stuff down with, and I'll show you what's going on. And hopefully, by the grace of God today, we'll get, I've got two garbage cans full of it, and hopefully I'll, by the end of it, I'll get them at least from the capping stage into the liquid stage and harding and then tomorrow I'll be able to show you what we got. So let's get inside there and I'll show you what I got going on. Now I've already got the first batch in the kettle already. And it's been in there uh, about 14 minutes. Let's see if, what's going on with it. All right, so it's, it's still rendering on down. That, as nasty as it looks, it's going to come out gorgeous. But let me show you what it looks like before I put it inside of the kettle. These are the two garbage cans that I've been keeping all those cappings in since July since we harvested. And let me get that in the light better. This is one of the buckets, and, and I've probably taken half of this bucket right here, and that's what's in the kettle right now. And then in this bucket, oh look, I got some more wax that I need to take care of. I was just using this stuff to hold down that plastic. Let me show you what I got underneath here. And these are the next, well, <laughs> the rest of it. And this stuff, 
is it's a little damp. It's a little damp. But it is all ready to go. Damp with honey. That's what it's damp with. Because it's just spun out through that honey wax separator. And it gets almost all that honey out. Look, I got a bee trying to come in here. Look at that. She landed right in here. All of this stuff today, though, is going to get rendered. Now, what am I going to do with all this stuff after it's rendered? Well, of course, I'll put it right back into the kettle. And then when it's in the kettle, I go ahead and wax all my foundations. And I actually started waxing foundation yesterday. In fact, all of these foundations down here, I got all these done yesterday. This batch right here, as well as this batch right here. And then I had some other, all these supers right here. They got waxed and there's another bunch around here as well. Anyway, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of waxing going on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and check back uh, probably about another 10 more minutes and we'll see how this batch right here is getting on and show you how the, the process is for the next one to load it up. In about, I don't know, 10 more minutes since we last looked. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah. I think we're done. Now, all that brown stuff that's floating on the top, we're going to go ahead and run that through a strainer. In fact, I've got it all set up with a strainer right there. And I floated, floated the wax um, on about, I don't know, about a three quarters of a gallon, maybe a gallon of, of water uh, in the bucket. I'll throw that in the, in the kettle, and then I just start piling in that all those cappings. Let's go ahead and drain this, see what it looks like. show you what's left inside of the kettle. It's hard to imagine that the cappings, which are made from virgin wax, could be this dirty. But that is what happens. I mean, they, they, there really is a lot of trash in there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out and prep the kettle for our next batch. Our kettle is now Eh, as clean as it needs to get, because there's still going to be more trash in it, but it's as clean as it needs to get. That's all the nasty stuff that was inside of those cappings. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and put some water in. Let me show you how I do the water. I've got, I've got my next three batches already out, and or the, at least the water. So I, all I do is I, I take a bucket and I put three quarters of a gallon, a gallon of water in it. I just want something in that wax to help um, spread out all that nasty stuff. And this is all the water that I need to put in there. And also, because I just want to make it as one batch, I can, I can keep my, get my wax all, come all the way up to this point right here. So we're going to have some beautiful, beautiful blocks of wax once we're done. So I'm going to dump a bucket of water into there and we're going to get this next batch started. Now, I, I don't know if the uh, camera can pick it up, but there are a lot of bees in here. I had to close the door 
because the smell of this wax cooking down is just releasing that, that honey smell in the air and, and it just draws the bees in here. So that is the unfortunate part. That's why I have to keep the lid closed and once I've drained the wax, I gotta close that. It, just trying to keep the bees out of that hot wax. So we're just gonna dump our water into the kettle and it isn't, it's not a lot of water in there. But it's just something for the wax to float on and then to get mixed up and help drain it as well. And then to separate all that nasty stuff that's in there. In fact, talking about that nasty stuff, I should have showed you when I was cleaning out the strainer what it looked like. In fact, the next time I do it, I will show you um, how I clean out that strainer and the stuff that's even up inside of it. All right, let's go ahead and put some wax into this right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn our kettle on. And because the this wax was at the very bottom, it, it really is packed into that, so I, I need to chop it up a little bit to be able to get it even out, out of here. They had a couple of bees in, in all this wax as well. And the problem, well, that's not really a problem, but the thing I'm being aware of is how much wax I put in there because I'm trying to make all these batches and I don't want to overrun my bucket. So it's just a guess as how much wax that it's going to go in. And like that last one, I, I was within you know two inches from the top. So I'll probably be close again with that one. Hopefully we won't overrun the, the, the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> eh, a little messy. That's all right. Let me show you what I got in. There it is. You can see it's already starting to melt. Now well, let's just hope I didn't overfill the kettle <laughs> so that it won't be able to hold all of that in the bucket. All right, we're gonna check back, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. While we're waiting for the next batch to get brewed, let me show you what we just put in this bucket right here. Look at that. That is going to be a beautiful block of wax. And if you look on the side of it, my water came to about right here. About right there. So that block, well, maybe it came up that high. We're going to have, golly, we're going to have a really big block of wax. Remember, I've got to keep this lid on here. Not to keep the bees out, but also it'll make the block prettier. It'll, hopefully, it won't crack as it's cool. All right, time just went off. Let's check to see how we're doing. Wow. Well, looks like it's done to me. Let me stir it around and make sure everything is melted up inside of there. Now, you see, we still got a big old block right there. But I'd say five more minutes. It'll be ready. There you go. Let's check our batch. See how it is. Yeah. I think we're done this time. Let me stick that knife right back in it. Make sure. You know, I still feel a couple of clumps in there. We're gonna go two more minutes. Ah, let's go another five minutes and that way I know it'll be done. All right, five more minutes. Let's go ahead and 
Let's see what we're looking like. Oh, yeah. I know we're ready this time. Yeah, there's not any lumps in there at all. So perfect. Let's go ahead and drain it and see what we're looking like. And there is our wax. Another, another beautiful bucket that's going to be. And all of our garbage in here. All right, let's clean it up and start it all over again. <laughs> Batch number three. I think I'm going to wind up doing two more. All right. Let's close the lid and let this one have a little privacy. The next thing I want to show you is how I go about cleaning my strainer. We gotta do this outside though. All right, now there is <laughs> a lot of dirt, debris, wax, nasty stuff in there. And simply scraping that that out, that's just not gonna, that's just not gonna cut it. Now, I definitely have to scrape it out initially, but that's not gonna clean it out enough to be able to let that wax melt to come through. So first thing I'm going to do is separate my two pieces and you see that the bees they are just all over this stuff because of that wax smell and that honey smell that's on them. All right so this is in the top piece and this is what's in the bottom piece. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape both of these things out using my hive tool and That'll be the initial, the initial amount that comes out. And you can see in the bottom screen, not a lot, not a lot of stuff in there, but all of that stuff in the bottom and on the back, that will definitely not allow our wax to flow through that so this is pretty good right right now to get us started but this definitely is not finished so that was done grab our next one which is the the main one and we're gonna go ahead and knock out all that wax that is on the back of it. I think these bees like it. And now we're going to turn it around and we're going to get this debris. It's really just dirt that's in there. Clean that out. Hope you all can see this. All right, we got the the majority of it out. Let me run it a little bit more. The more I can get out, the better. The easier it's going to be to do the final cleaning on this thing. All right, let me clean enough. Look, you can see right through it now, huh? But the next thing we do is my little secret right here, and for that trick we're gonna use propane you gotta have propane it's like you gotta have propane when you fool with bees I mean really what guy does not like fire you know and I'm a big guy that likes fire so get your torch if your lighter works you fire it up and then what I do, and I just start heating it up. And that'll melt all the wax. It actually will burn it. And any of that dirt that's in there, it just burns it right off. Now of course, <laughs> the thing does get hot. So you gotta watch out for that. But 
That one was hot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to do it this way. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. This really does clean it. And being that it's a stainless steel filter screen, you can't do this forever, but you can do it for a long time. So turn it around. See, I got smart. I used my hog tool to hold it instead of my finger. Now you can really see through that thing now. It is clean, very clean. At least as much as what I need to do, because it's gonna get dirty again. All right, now let's clean the fine side of it. Now fortunately, we got a handle on this one, huh? Are we gonna go ahead and burn through it? If your torch doesn't go out. Now look at that. That is all nice and clean, huh? Now all we have to do is put our right on top of that one. And look at that. We ready for the next go round. And that's what our third batch looks like after it's melted down. Let's go ahead and drain this one out. Wow, significantly less debris in this one. All right, let's go ahead and get that cleaned up and get the next batch going. Here's our third batch in the bucket. All right, and I see I got a mark on this one. So here's our mark. So we're gonna have a block, about a 10 or 12 inch block on this one. Nice. Third one in the bucket. Our fourth one in the kettle. Our fourth batch, all done. I'll drain it out, clean the kettle, and get the last one going. Look at our, this is our fourth bucket of wax. Another really nice bucket. And now we have our kettle loaded up with our final load of capping. All right, all right, all right. Our last batch of the day. Let's go ahead and drain this thing out, get it in the bucket, clean up, and we can call it a day. All right, our day is over. Well, almost. Listen, listen to the bees. There are hundreds of bees in this building due to the fact 
of us rendering all of this wax and let's see if you can get to see them. I just now opened up the doors just now to get some of them that are in here to come out but they'll probably just more come in. I have to leave these doors open all night. But look at the bees that are in here. They're just trying to get out. I have to admit though, it does smell wonderful. All right, let me show you what we wound up with. These are our five buckets. And I really don't want to open them up because the bees are just going to get inside of them. You'll just have to wait till tomorrow when I open these up and find out exactly how big a block of wax we got. So until tomorrow, good night. Well, good morning. <laughs> and man, I tell you, this weather down here in Louisiana, it, it's just so weird. I mean, yesterday we were 80 degrees and right now it's like 50 degrees. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not big on all this change in weather stuff, but by the end of this week, we'll be back up into the 80s, so that's a good thing. So man, I have got a lot on my plate this morning. So we're getting ready to head over to that honey house right now and check out what happened with those blocks of wax over the evening and uh, and then on top of that I've got two visitors coming today the Burden family from Louisville Kentucky and um, Ed Bergeron from Kalamazoo Michigan one's coming in the morning and one's coming in the afternoon so yeah and then I got a call yesterday I got a swarm to go go capture they moved in two days ago and I'm going to just go vacuum them little things up and bring them back to the happy. Oh, and that's a surprise because I'm hoping to set them up in the brand new lay-ins hive that I built. We'll see how that works, but I don't know. I, I, I'm hoping it's going to work that way. But with bees, you can never tell. It's, like I said, it's like 50 degrees right now. And so I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that, that it cooled off too quick and the tops cracked. So it probably won't be real pretty looking. But... We're going to find out, and then I think I'm even going to try to weigh that stuff to see how much wax we wound up getting. So we're just about there, and let's get inside, and I'm going to grab those buckets and bring them out because it's too dark in there, and I'll show you what we got outside. Gee whiz, <laughs> that was a workout getting these buckets out here. But that's all of them right there, all five of them. And... I can see this one, the lid wasn't on there too good because, oh my goodness, look at all the bees in that one. And that one doesn't look bad. That one actually looks really nice. And that one doesn't look too bad. And this one, eh, they're all going to have to get re reworked one more time. Uh, just melt them down one more time. Let's go ahead and I don't think they're going to come out of the buckets, but let's see if I can kick them over and see if the blocks come out. Oh, look at that. That one came out. Awesome. And, uh, let's see about this one. Oh, another one came out. Now, almost. Let's see. Use two hands on that one. Oh, there it came out. <laughs> All right, let's see if we're gonna get this one to come out. Oh, nice. Number four. Oh, yeah. Now, this one, since the water's not even floating on it, I don't think there's any way that one's gonna come out. I'm gonna move this one. Let me move these buckets. That chance from that one coming out. There's our fifth block right there. So that's all of them, all five of them. Doesn't seem like it's a lot of wax from all that two garbage cans of cappings, but that is all that I did get. I'm gonna clean them up now, scrape all that dirt off the bottoms of them, and I'll show you what we got when we finish.
There you have it. Pretty much all cleaned up, other than doing that second rendering on these, which I'll have to do that next week. Get them all cleaned up so that when we do our foundation, waxing our foundation, we won't have any of this nasty dirt on it. Now let's get the final reveal on how much wax we rendered. So it's at zero right now. Oh good, it's more than 55 pounds. Slide that back. We got the 50 mark. Now we can keep on going. 55. 62, 65. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. That's 72, 73. There you go. I'm going to call it 73 pounds. <laughs> now that is a haul of wax. <laughs> On one thing you can say about that. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I don't know if you can hear all the bees that are on the ground right now. When I turned off, turned over all those buckets and all spilled all that water, there was there was honey in that in that in the cappings. So some of that is on the ground. So I don't. In fact, let me let me show you. Let me get get a picture of all the bees that are on the ground trying to suck up some of that stuff that's down there. The bees are happy, and Mr. Ed is real happy. Look at all this wax that I've got to use now to put on our foundations. And these were already done, but this is what this is what they're going to look like in just another week or so. I'll have all that stuff re-rendered and then applied to the foundation. So that's all I got for you in this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video.